Hi everybody, thanks for watching my video. So in this part of my video, I'm gonna show you the menu structure of the TFT um, display. Now it can get a little confusing uh, because of there are so many ways to, to navigate it. So I'm gonna start off basically at the very top of the uh, navigation um, uh, chain. Um, think of it like uh, folders that have uh, other folders inside of other folders like you would ha have on a computer. So this is the top of the folder. This would be like the My PC where we're at right now. So think of it like a pyramid. This is the very top. Um, all in all, barn anything else, it's a speedometer and a tachometer. That's uh, and 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 showing your um, what gear you're in. That's the main function of your TFT. And so what you see here is a full screen version of that. Now there are other things you can access from this location just by using the um, Wonder Wheel on the left handlebar, and you're going to just click it in with your thumb. So as I click it in, I'm going to go to my onboard computer. I'm going to go to my trip computer. I'm going to go to my navigation. And I'm going to go to my radio. So that's how that functions. So that's just using the thumb wheel and your thumb to navigate these basic functions right here. All right, now I'm going to go, um, go back to the direction until I have a full screen again. Now if I use my menu button and go down, as you can see right here, this means you go down. So every time you see this on a menu, that means there's another menu below it. That's the point of that little arrow right there. So I'm going to go down here now to my next set of menus. Now this brings me to everything that's in my um, menu that's available to me. So I have my vehicle. As you can see, I have a down arrow. If I go down, it gives me... Uh, my vehicle information. Notice there's not a down arrow any longer. So this is as low as this menu goes. So now I take my thumb wheel and I use my thumb and I go across and there's my onboard computer, my trip computer. Uh, this is a separate area where it shows tire pressure and then um, any service um, information that you might need. There's nothing further past that, so I'm going to go ahead and go back. Notice you've got right and left arrows up here as well. So that shows you you can navigate either direction when you're at that menu. Once you get to the very end, you'll notice that the right arrow disappears, and now all you have is a left arrow. So this is how you navigate this portion of it. Now, at any time in this menu structure, if I press the up arrow on my uh, menu button, it'll take me back to the next level, the, the, the second tier level. So I don't have to actually back all the way back to the beginning. I can just go up. Now one of the benefits of that is if there's something you want to monitor, like say your trip computer as an example, you can go up to your full size um, uh, speedometer um, and tack, and then as you go down, just two clicks down, takes you back to your trip computer. So it stays where it's at. It doesn't reset or default back to its uh, beginning position. Uh, so just to let you know, you can go up from there. A radio is the same way. So I've got my down arrow. And now I've got my left and right for whatever channels I might have preset in my favorites. I go down again. And now here's all my radio options. And notice there's no down arrow and there's no left and right arrow. So this means I'm at the end of whatever selections I have. Now when I go down to these, by scrolling the thumb wheel, as an example here, I had a little right arrow there. And now it gives me my information, but there's no other arrows. If I go down to audio settings and take my right arrow, uh, now I have these options here. i got helmet, I've got speakers. Um, and so those are my options there. Now from there, I can just go straight back up to my secondary uh, uh, level of menus. And then I can continue now once on. I'm back up to my top menu, if I scroll back over to the side and bring up one of my side menus, in this case, I'll bring up my navigation, I can now go down and then I can select things like telephone. I can have my call list of what I want to do. Or I can just go back up from there and go right back to my main screen. Uh, I can also go back down, go over to media. If I have any media available, it would be right there. And so this way I could continue to use my other functions while I keep my map up in place. But if I want to go back to a full screen, then I would go back this way with my thumb wheel, 
clicking it to the right until I have my full screen again. Now, a lot of people ask about full screen navigation. This is how that happens. See how that worked? As long as I'm started my full screen speedometer and don't have one of my side windows open on the right, then that was what will give me my full screen navigation. And then I have all my other selections down here if I want to set them up. And this is how that works. So this is how you navigate everything. If I just keep going straight, I go right back up to the top. If I take my thumb wheel and click it to the left, go back to my, my maps. Now if I go down, I can go over to my radio. And then I could play my radio and I could change my channels, listen to the song. I could adjust my volume control with the thumb wheel. So this is how this, uh, this is the easy way to navigate this. And then go back up to the top where I've got my, um, my speedometer. And then go back over again. Now I've got full size. Now I'm going to go back down. Select, in fact, there'd be full size again. Is this an example? There'd be full size radio. So this is how you get the, the split window versus the full size is depending on where you start at the top. Remember, this is the top of the menu. So I'm all the way at the top. Now, when I'm all the way at the top, if you look at the top right-hand corner, you're going to see all of my trip information come up. And I can go through it step by step until I get to what I want. In this case, let's say my range for uh, how much further I have on, on my fuel. I can leave that there. And then I can go back down. Well, I could go over as an example. And I could bring up my navigation. Oh, we have to turn this off soon. Getting close to that. And then go back down. And have my radio. But I also still show my range till I'm empty. So there you go. That's how all that works. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, look me up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like. If you like this video, please select like. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.